Ooh, hey, 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 it's Monday. And what's Monday? New website day. Bing, bang, boom. Go check it out. Get there. Get in your back office or go to, I mean, on passive.com. Check out the pretty two colors. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. All right. What did my title say today? First, let me tell you what's going on today. 2.30. Uh, there is, a, I think it's an African web webinar. Michael Williams is going to be on there, I believe. 2.30, the link is in the back office. Uh, I've just seen it this morning, so I'm not too sure what it's all about. But it'll be, if Michael's on there, it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, what's, you know, what's my title? It's all about you. All right, let's make this all about you. I was actually having two conversations last night. One was with John White and Bill Must. The other one was with Julie Wen later. Okay. And Julie Wen had said something to me, and I thought, well, that's a really good idea, Julie. I think that I would like to do that. So giving all credits to, to the Wenster, we'll call her the Julie Wenster, um, she had told me, I was talking about, you know, how we're getting people to go into the O network. In other words, get in your back office. And I tell people, hey, come see me. What did I say? Boring. Change it up. Back to the basics. Let's make it about you. So I came up with this little goofy idea. I'd like to pick five random people a day. Okay. And this is getting people to go toward your network. So here's what needs to happen. All right. I want five of you and I'll pick them. Actually, let me ask if you want to be part of this. Just give me. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And when I see those, I will uh, call your name out. And what I would like for you to do is go back to your own network and either make a post, a great post about a passive, or you can actually do a two minute just talking to people, what you see me do every day, either or. And then on the next day, I'm gonna say, all right, I need you to go to these five individuals. I could probably do it today, actually. I do, now it's all coming. And this way I could get people to uh, go to your network and let's get everyone involved. It was a great idea. Julie Wen said that to me. I said, love it, love it, love it. Let's ride it out and see how we do. So that's the deal. I'm going to pick random people every day. And I want, no, don't go to my network no more. I want you to go to theirs. Listen to what they got to say. And then the next day, say, uh, let's see. Uh, let's say Amy Rhetoric said, yes, I do. All right. So, and I didn't pick him yet. At the end, I'm going to try to pick him here because it's going so fast. I want you to, we'll use an example, go to Amy's tonight or tomorrow morning and see what she has to say. Maybe she's going to say something nice and say, Amy talked about this, something silly like that. I got to try to balance it out. But I want to get more people going to other people's networks, not just mine. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fun guy, but after a while that gets boring. So let's make it interesting. So as we go through these names and I'm still talking, I will pick out five people. <laughs> Hi, Sean Cyrus, brother from another mother. Yes, we are. Um, and I also want to talk about uh, the conversation I had with Bill and John. Uh, the weekends, they usually give me a chat and we talk and they, uh, you know, we just kind of bounce things back and forth. And they said, what are you going to talk about next week? And, you know, I want to go back to the basics. I want to give you something every day that that i'm not gonna say value how about make sense how about make sense to you now i'm trying to change the way i do things uh whether you like it or not i'm not sure that's okay but i want people to understand why i became a founder why you became a founder and today i'm going to break down a little bit of of that now if it makes sense to you great if it don't i'm 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 sorry i'm just trying to do things different I really like being different. I'm, I want to be like the unpassive.com website. I want to change every day and I want to have brighter colors, positive things. All right. I'm, I'm going with the flow, which I like doing. I like to be different. I don't want to just come out here and crack jokes all day, even though I love cracking jokes, but I'd rather give you something that I, that will make you think why and go back to the basics. So I was talking to John and Bill and we got in this discussion, really good discussion. And uh, we were talking about bills and all that. And I said, told myself, I'm going to go back to two years ago when I first started doing lives. I'm going to go 
talk to everyone how I talked to them back then, why you should get into passive. And let me tell you something. So I get into this, do all this crazy research. And I looked up, uh, you know, what's the main cause of stress, illness? And it all came down to money. People stress out so much over money. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But 73% of just America stresses out over their bills, over their finances. And what happens with that? It makes them ill. It, it takes everything they got good out of them. It sucks them dry. So I told, was telling John, I said, well, you know, we got to go back to talking about not passive income, but breathable income. So I got on the old, my other little device here, which I'm learning I need all of these lately. And I Googled, uh, you know, what is a, what does an average person pay a month in bills? And I used to talk about this a long time ago, and I'll get to why I'm talking about it again. Okay. The, the average per, one person a month spends about $3,241 a month to pay their bills and enjoy things a little bit, I guess. That comes up to 38 grand, almost $39,000 a year. A couple or two people is $5,271 a month or 63, 64 grand a year. Now you get into the three people, maybe a mom, dad, and the child. $5,800 or 70 grand a year. And then you go into a family of four, which I had, all right, years ago. I still got them, but they're all over the place. $7,005, which is $84,000 annually. All right. Now, what I'm saying here is I think every one of us here, including myself at one time in my life, was stressing over money. Oh, my God, I got to pay the car notes, the house payment, the boat payment. Ooh, I, I owe them some money. I got to pay on this credit card. And what did it do? What did we do? We created our own stress. We overspent on certain things. We probably, oh, we got to have that house, honey. It's only $1,500 a month. But again, we didn't <laughs> we didn't think about the, the utilities, the, out, the, the taking care of the outside, stuff we just never thought about. And be honest, I know everyone. You might There might be some smart people out there. Uh, I wasn't one of them. I did all that. I went out and bought the, the nicest things. I love, oh, I got to have it. And it was a mistake, you know. But what I'm talking about is I couldn't breathe back then. I couldn't breathe at all because I knew I had to go to work. I couldn't miss work because if I missed work, I wasn't going to make any money. I couldn't pay the bills that were coming in constantly every month, nonstop. It didn't stop. It didn't say, hey, man, go ahead. We love you so much, Chris, because you're so fun. Where do we, you don't have to pay this month, <laughs> you know, and we all, and everyone else, next thing you know, your phone's ringing. Hey, you know, you owe me this. I think a lot of people have gone through this. 73% of America, just America goes through this. Okay. And, and if you didn't good for you, if you did, you know what it feels like. So then I thought, well, I, I told John, I'm not going to call it passive income anymore and why you really should get. Why I thought at that time, still do, why you really should join and pass it for that plan B, okay? Uh, breathing, financial difficulties or financial stress takes your breath right out of you. It takes the life right out of you. You got to start thinking about other things, but you know you still got to go to work constantly. You know you're not saving any money for maybe your Christmas fund or your vacation money. It's strictly going for your bills. So then I thought, how could I, in, you know, how can I get this in people's minds that imagine let's, let's use the four people, $84,000 a year, $7,000 a month. And I used to say, and we're not supposed to talk money. So these are examples. So I said, okay, let's say you, you joined in passive and you still kept working, but on passive was going to cover the $7,000 a month or the $84,000 annually for you just by joining, just by becoming a founder. And then you keep working in all that money that used to go to pay that $7,000. Now it's yours. All right. Now you can actually save for the vacation or maybe put an addition on the house. All right, do you understand this? I want to go back to the basics. We are doing lots of webinars with things that are so futuristic. A lot of people but aren't really sure like, wow, I want to stay, I'm the net, I'm the average guy here. All the other webinars are great, but I just want to stick with the basics. All right. I want you to really understand why we all became founders. 
What was the first reason we saw the money that we can make? First reason, I don't care who you are, that was the truth. All right. Secondly, we found out wow, with all this money we're making, we can help actually help people out. But let's let's not even think about that right now. Let's go back to the basics. Okay? Back to the basics. Here I'm going to give you a little homework assignment. Okay? I want you tonight to sit down, even though I hated doing it myself, add up all, all your bills for one month. Whether it's your house, car, vacation, I don't know. But add them all up, what you spend, put in the gas, what it takes to get to work, everything. What you think you spend a month or what you know you spend a month. And then think about just this. I don't, I don't listen. I don't, I'm going to take some of your dreams out of your head right now because I want to be real. I really do want to be a real person. Okay. Take away. I want this. I want that. Oh, oh, can't wait. I want you to get that all out of your head right now. All I want you to do is concentrate right now is if someone came in and paid every bill that you had every month, that's all I want you to think about. All right. The rest of those things that we talk about, our dreams will happen. All right. Just take that right there for what it's worth. Uh, let's see. Give me a name. M. Kaylee, because she was number one again today. M. Kaylee spends five thousand example, five thousand dollars a month. M. Kaylee wrote it down, man, if I and she works, if someone just paid that five thousand dollars a month for me, man, the the rest I can bank or invest or have a little fun. I don't even want you to think about your dreams. I just want you to think about that. If someone came in and paid your monthly bills, what would your life be like? See, now, if someone's coming in and paying your monthly bills, my new words, you now have a breathable income. I'm not going to say passive. I'm going to say breathable income. In other words, you could breathe because you're not worrying about making the house note or the car notes or your insurance note putting gas in your car on passive because you became a founder back to the basics. It's going to cover that for you. Okay. I just want you to think about that. I don't think, I don't want you to think about the cottage, the boat, the private jet airplane that you're going to get. I don't want you to think any of that. Let's go back to basics. Let's be real. Let's think about this. If it just covered your cost of living right now, how much better would your life be? How much better would you be able to breathe? Not stressing the phone's ringing. Oh my God, is that someone that I didn't pay a credit card on? You understand what I'm saying? I'm totally going a whole different way with this today because I think we got farther off we did. I'm already excited. To be honest, Ash doesn't have to tell me anything. I already know what's coming. All right? But I want you to understand. I want you to go back and realize what you originally got on passive for. What you, why you shared it out because you wanted to help change people's lives. That's what it's always been about. We took it many steps further, which is okay, which is okay. It's okay to dream. It's okay to know the technical terms and all that. But if you went back and just thought about what we originally started this, this, these zooms and uh, what Ash decided to do, he, he'll tell you, he just wanted a fair system. He wanted everyone to be equal. He wanted everyone to have wealth, success, all right. All the other stuff to me doesn't matter. That's that's the honest God truth for me. I, I want to stay real and humble to who I am. All right. And I want you guys to think of the same thing. Yep. Some of you right now are in dire needs. Some of you right now are very stressed out about how you're going to pay a bill. I get it. And I pray for you every day. I was there 30 years ago. I know it's not fun. But what I constantly think about, not for me. But when this launches, you're going to be able to take a deep breath because now that breathable income is going to come at you. The breathable income that's going to pay your bills, set you free. I think right there, when I say uh, freedom, time, knowing that another company that you did nothing for, you paid 97 bucks, is now paying your monthly bills. And you can go on. And you can keep working or you can do whatever you want. Myself, I would work a little longer 
just to get ahead of the game. But I think as it passes, grows harder and harder. You're going to have that choice to say, "I don't want to go to work anymore." But for right now, let's keep it real. And passive just paid M. Kaylee's bills every month for the rest of her life. What's her options? Think about that. What are your options? Just because someone paid your bills, and that's what I want you to think about today. As a matter of fact, there's a good subject just popped in my mind. To the five or six people that I will pick here shortly, I got to find my pen. There it is. That's what I want you to say on your, your. You don't have to. You can say whatever you want. I'm not telling you what to do, but if you want a subject to talk about, you got two minutes to do a live on your on your network. You have as much time as you want to make a post, but I want to hear what you would think about if someone paid my bills. What would my life be like? Where would the freedoms come? The breathable incomes coming in, and maybe explain a little about that. And then, and then the five names that I pick, text me, let me know. Yeah, Chris, I'm going to do this. But then, I, when I call the five out names, the five names out tomorrow, I want you to go to all their networks, please. I'm not telling you what to do, and I want you to listen to their little story or their little post and see if you can relate to it and see if it makes sense to you because it probably will. It probably will. Okay. All right, I have talked a quite a lot today, and like I said, I want to come on here every day, and I want to be different. I have no updates for you. Do you know why I have no updates for you? I have not uh, waiting for Ash, but my updates are always this, right, and this is the most positive updates you're going to hear from anybody. You joined a company that's going to change the world. There's your update. You joined a company that's going to change. Your life. There's an update. You join a company that cares about humanity and people that are starving, thirsting, living in the most worst conditions possible, and that company is going to change it. There's your update. Do you need any more updates? All right. People ask Chris, do you, Chris, do you know when we're going to launch? Now, I don't get mad at you for saying it. it's a normal question. It's okay, and I'm going to tell you the same thing. When it's ready, we will launch it. It's got to be perfect, guys, and I promise you this: Ash Mafar is doing everything he possibly can, 100%, to make this perfect, not for himself, but for all of us. That is the truth. So, those people that are struggling right now, I, I'm praying for you constantly. I, I never stop praying for people like that, because all of us have been there one time or the other. And if you haven't, God bless you. But there are people out there that are struggling. But Ash Mafar can't make his decision on. Oh, we better get this going because someone's starving. No, he's saying we're gonna do it right, so no one ever starves again. Think about that, okay? I want to wish someone out there a happy birthday because I know it's your birthday. Prefab, I think it's Prefab's birthday to do. Anyone else? I want to let you know that I am praying for you constantly. Um, I do care about you. Uh, I probably will put you before me. Uh, you could probably ask my kids that because that's kind of how I am. And uh, I want you to think that let's let's put other people today. In other words, put them in front of you, and just be nice to them. That's not so. You, maybe you're not so nice today, but me, be nice to them. Do one nice thing, okay? And I told you I was having a discussion with someone the other day about pendings. We all got them, and I'm not going on a pending rant. But something nice today is gifting someone a pending spot, whether you have or someone else has. That's a great thing. So your anger, your bitterment, your maybe you're not in a good mood today, will change. I promise you that when you give someone or you help someone or just give them a hug, tell them how great they look. So, on that note, I gotta go. I love every one of you. Stay plugged in. That means get into a webinar once a week. Uh, if Ash has an updates, we will let you know. Myself, Marty, Red, Julie, every one of us will get in there and say, guys. Ash is coming on. All right, and I want you to understand something. Uh, Marty touched on it today. I don't necessarily like the phrase when you go to a webinar when Ash is speaking. We say, "Don't go there to hear what you want to hear." I don't necessarily like that phrase, even though it's true. I say, "Go there because the guy you're going to watch." Is working his butt off for you, and that should be enough. 
if he gave you information that maybe you thought, ah, it's okay. It's okay because he's still nonstop working, nonstop working. All right. So when he does come on, we're going to let you know. And it's really nice when y'all get on there. We'd like to see that 20,000 top out. We love when that happens, actually. We absolutely love it. So just pay attention, guys. I appreciate you supporting uh, my YouTube. I don't really, if you want to get in my YouTube, you can click the subscribe button, the bell, whatever that means. I know it's going to be something big from passive, but myself and Julie, we're doing speedy lives to help people bring them up in their YouTubes. I think it's working pretty good. We have two new more people today. I got to remember who they were. But, oh, I got it. I'm going to say hi now. I picked the names for I forget. Okay. And just, just to let you know, the people that came out here a little later, I'm picking five names. It's all about you today. It's going to be all about you forever now. That's kind of the mindset I have. Let me get a piece of paper here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go through as I say hi to everybody. And I want to know if you want to be part of this. I'm trying to bring you out in your own network. Thank you, Julie Wen, for the great idea. Uh, so if you get in there and say, I can't remember what I said. Yes, I'd love to do it. Give me your names. I'll write everyone's name down. I'm trying to pick five different people each day. I, they're going to make a message tonight about what I talked about or anything else they want to talk about. And then you're going to tell me tomorrow on my live, uh, use Amy again, Amy. And I'm going to put Amy on here because <laughs> I saw her first. What did Amy talk about? How did you relate to Amy? Stuff like that. It doesn't matter as long as you go there and you better make a comment and like it. I'm telling you now, because I want you to, I want them to know, hey, you matter. It ain't just about me. I don't want it about me. I never did. Let's make it about you. Okay. All right. Now let me go through here. Now I know M. Kaylee was the very first one. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I hope I don't miss everyone's comment. So, Right now, if you can hear me, I'm going to go, I'm going to start saying hi, but I'm going to go to the, the uh, bottom so I can see who wants to be part of this. I know Amy said yes. Right, Ducky. Okay. Hi, Lister T. Hi, Corinne. How you doing? Tanya Hennon, what's happening? Uh, M. Kelly, there she is. John White, what's happening, John? John, I think it worked pretty good today. Breathable income. I like it. I love it, actually. Uh, and you know what I'm expecting John and Bill to do? To do a phenomenal video about breathable income. What's your life going to be like when you can breathe again? Eh, just a thought. They're pretty creative. They'll come up with something. Pat Parent, how you doing? Dave Rosleski tomorrow. I know Bless. I'll talk about it again tomorrow. Dave Rosleski and Pat Parent have joined, and they are going to be doing the old Bless Project. Really excited about that. I'll talk more about that tomorrow. Cynthia Brown, what's happened? Sabias Jana. Play with it. Thank you, Chris and Uncle, for bringing this topic here. Sabias Jana. <laughs> Sabias, you're saying yes, you want to be part of this? Let me write your name down because I think you did, but I'm not sure. S U B uh, H A S. And I'm going to do this quick, guys, because I know you got stuff to do. Jana, I myself have to go somewhere. Who am I missing? Cynthia Brown, downtown, got you. Tiana, what's happening from Hawaii? How you doing? Hey. <laughs> and you know what? I apologize. I'm trying to turn on my, uh, for the hard of hearing where the, the words come across. I'm not sure how to do it. I got to ask, probably Julie will know how to do that. I want to get that turned on. I have a gentleman that requests it every time and I can never find it. So David Switzer, how you doing, brother? David Switzer, what would you do if all your pay bills were paid for a month for the rest of your life? What kind of life would you have? Would you be able to breathe? David Ask that question. Uh, Adam Clemenciak, if I said that right, <laughs> I hope I did. You want to stress out everyone in relationships. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. No, no, we want everyone to stay together and be happy. Uh, let's see. I know Julie's on here, and if I don't see her, I never... <laughs> I see people saying hi to Julie. I don't see her again. I'm Kelly, Steve Noel, Arviander Kaur. What's happening? Karina, I got you. Leon Henry, how you doing? You're right. Uh, Leon, is it Leon? If I can see, I'm barely seeing your name. I want to be real with you. I want to be honest with you. I don't ever, ever want to think that I'm lying to you. 
All right. I my whole life that's how I've been. People have always come to me for everything, whether they're complaining or just telling me something good. I, I must got that face. All right, which needs to get skinnier here, but that's okay. I'm good. I'm good with myself, but I want to lose weight. I do. I'm trying. Julie's helping me try to lose weight too. Everyone's trying to help me. I got to put the cookies away. Okay. And not down the throat. Uh, Gene Olivia. I want freedom, that stuff. Boom. Boom, Gene. That's what I'm talking about. I want freedom, not stuff. That's a whole. Gene, do a live on that today. That's powerful, Gene. Gene, do give me two minutes of talking about that in O Network. I'm, I'm putting you down. I'm putting you down because I love it. That's what I'm talking about. Gene, got a funky last time. Olivia, A, I mean, I love the name. A L L uh, E V A. Okay. All right. There's there's three. I got Amy, Sabias. There's going to be more, guys. We're going to do this constantly. Uh, Dave Rosowski, what's happening? Tell, talk, talking about it. Got to love it. What you want to do? If someone paid your bills, simple math. I'm not talking about owning a yacht, a mansion, your own airport, for goodness sakes. I'm just saying, how much breathable would your life be if someone paid your monthly bills? You know what? Make your own live today and share out what I said or a post. What would your life be like if someone paid your monthly bills? All right. This is going to help bring people to you after we launch also. Okay. I don't want my name on it. Don't say I said it. I want you to go out and say it to people. What would your life be like if you didn't have to pay bills? One of my greatest posts I ever did was, are you one of those lazy people and you just want to get paid to do no work? Boom. I signed up 32 people that day. <laughs> I still laugh about that. It was funny. Okay. Yeah, Gene, I I really like that. <sighs> Freedom is priceless. Absolutely. Sherry Dursaway, there's another work horse every night at 930 or, yeah, 930 my time. She does it on her YouTube now. Now, I keep forgetting that, but Sherry does great lives. She speaks from her heart. And I, let me don't forget this. Yesterday, a lot of people didn't know it, but Julie, Sherry, and Terry did a... Um, a meet and greet in Huntington Beach, California. They had over 50 people. I think it was 55 to 60 people. And they kind of made it private. She did two lives, those girls. And it was pretty good. I do have that on my Facebook. Julie's probably got it on her Facebook. Check it out. Look at some of the founders. She had, uh, I think, over 10 people from the deaf community, which was awesome. Uh, you know, bringing more people out. They had a translator. It was really cool, but they had fun. Julie said it was fun. It was exciting. So, guys, go check that out. You might have missed it because there were so many webinars going on. She didn't Zoom it. She just did a live stream, and it turned out pretty good. So go watch it. You'll see it for yourself. All right, let me go all the way to the bottom here. Okay, let's see. Uh, Chen Cho, Ali, how you doing? <laughs> I got to go through this. I'm all mixed up. I'm, I'm hot. Uh, Prima Nan and I say that. Gemma, there you are. There's the other sister. Lister and Gemma. Uh, I totally agree from Tiana. Patricia Shore, I would help so many people. All right, guys. Who I post in Oat Network. Yes. Okay. I got Jean. Sabias Jana. Uh, no rum cake for you, Chris. <laughs> oh, I love rum cake. I like rum. That's definitely my drink. If when I drink. Uh, I might try it. LOL. You know, this is big for me. Elsie patch. I'm challenging you. You always send me some really cool things. Plus you're a Michigander. So Elsie patch, look at the name guys. E L S I E patch P A T C H is going to be another one. So there's four. And I want you guys also, you can private message me if you haven't already. To let me know you do it in case I missed it. Because like I said, I can't see certain people in here. Tom Taylor is on here. Did another live. Tom did two lives. Marty reached out to me yesterday and said, Oh, Chris, Tom doesn't want to do lives anymore. And I said, just like this. Why? He does great lives. Okay, Tom does them on Sunday. I think I think at 1230 in the afternoon. All right. 
He was like, well, man, I only had four people. I'm not reaching. Listen, when I started it, my YouTube or even my Facebook, I had three people, Tom, and I stuck with it. You are a very intelligent person. I actually enjoyed your story you said about your life. Don't give up. Keep doing it. And guys, remember, Tom Taylor, he does lives at 1230. I believe he does them on his YouTube. I watched both of them so far. Never give up because eventually you're going to reach people. It just takes a little bit of time. You don't get a YouTube and become famous overnight. That just don't happen. Matter of fact, millions of people have YouTube. But you have a family of over a million people, Tom. Trust me, they'll start hearing about you because we'll be talking about you. Okay, and you, Tom, I would like to see, you know what? I don't know if Tom said it. Would you like to do the O, o, o Network thing, Tom? You got some pretty amazing words. Oh, uh, man, I'm missing everybody. If I missed you, I apologize. Uh, goodness. Elvis, is there Elvis is in the house? Elvis, you fun. How you doing? So I need one more person. I'm going to call someone out if I don't see something here pretty soon. Uh, you're okay, Amanda. You're okay. Let me get someone from another country. Uh, I got Canada, I think. So, uh, Lister and Gemma, what about you? Lister, T, and Gemma, you've been doing lives. Sean Cyrus, breathable income. I love that. I really do. That just clicks in my brain. I remember when I couldn't breathe. It sucked. Patri oh, Patricia Parent. Gotcha. All right, there's five. Now, Patty Parent. Okay, now there's five. But we're going to do this every day because I want everyone to see who you are on your own network, getting more involved. So text me or private message me uh, your name, and we'll do this again tomorrow. But remember, the, the thing is today is go to those five individuals, which is Amy Rydell. Was I say what? Thanks for your last name, Amy Wright. Amy, I forgot her last name. Right? But look for Amy in there, Rydell, I think it is. Uh, Sabias Jana. Uh, Gene Olivia, Elsie Patch, and Pat, Parrot, Patricia Parent. Go to their networks tonight or tomorrow. See what they have to say. Get an idea. Remember we talked about if someone paid all your bills, see what happens. Okay. I'm dragging you guys on too much. I'm wasting your time. I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to say I love every one of you. All right. Get ready to breathe. Get ready to breathe. That's all I'm going to tell you. Get ready to breathe. When we launch, the air is going to feel so good. Why? Because you're going to have a breathable income. I got to go. There's my brother, Bill Must. Hi, Bill. You heard me, Bill. Check out Bill's YouTube channel. You know what? Check out everyone's YouTube channel. If they're in a passive, click and subscribe. You know, Bill and John, they do these videos five or six a day. They're all over the place. Share them out. They're great videos, okay? You don't have to share nothing to me, but I, what I can give you messages, you can post on your own. I don't need credit ever, never did. Go get them, folks. Go let the world know that a passive is coming and fresh air is coming and they're all going to be able to breathe. All right. I love every one of you. I'll see you later. Bye.